Hey everybody, it's Andy the Marketing Guy from Ben Business Marketing and I'm here today to talk to you about how to make a video to promote your stuff. So what are you going to learn by watching this video? Here's what. I'm going to teach you the benefits of making a video, learning the basic steps to getting your video started, learning how to upload your proud work online via different video sharing websites, and making it popular and using it as a tool to promote your business, projects, and events. So here's what happens. Say you're hosting an event planning meeting for a large committee and someone proposes the idea of making a promotional video. Your committee would like to upload a video online to promote its latest fundraising event. So they want to boost attendance from last year's event. This video is something new and while everyone has ideas, not a single person knows how to make it all come together in the form of a kick-ass video. Everyone gets super excited about the project, right? And enthusiasm builds. But what happens? You have no clue where to begin. And the idea fizzle up and dies. So here's what you're going to need to do if you want to make an awesome video. Plan ahead. Figure out what you want your video to look like. Budget. How much are you willing to spend to create the video? Sometimes you can often do it for free, but I'll talk about that in a second. Getting what you need. What materials do you need to make this video awesome? Learning how to use the equipment you have. Capturing the footage. What are you going to use to capture the footage? Organizing the footage. And then finally, editing the video. So we're going to plan ahead like crazy. Define the aims and the purpose of the video. What do you want it to do? Uh, will the video look like in your head? Is it something that's going to reach out and grab people, tug at their emotional heartstrings, or is it going to be simply for shock and awe? How do you want your audience to react to the video? What feelings would you like to provoke with that video? Planning ahead again, you're going to be using your combined imagination. Write down a script. Create a storyboard. I'm a big fan of storyboards. It's just a series of pictures which depict how you would like your video to appear. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can just be like a three ring binder or one of those old composition books and you just doodle in little scenes and make little stick figures, but have an idea. Make a checklist of things you need. Footage that needs to be taken. Where are the images going to be taken? Photos that need to be taken. Are you gonna be taking photos to add in still shots into your video? And do you have the equipment that you need? So we're going to gather our stuff together. We're going to ask friends, relatives, ex-wives, anyone you know that can provide you with the materials you need to make this video. We're going to improvise, especially if you're on a tight budget. So you may not be able to get the best quality camera. You may only have your cell phone, but that's fine. And then you're going to, what you, this is what I like to do. If you, if you need to uh, draw up some money and you don't know where the money's going to come from, you can ask your committee to come up with sponsors. You can do this by offering or including the sponsors' ads uh, in your video, maybe one at the beginning and one at the end. Maybe buy like a $100 or $200 sponsorship. So now we're moving on to capturing our video. We want to capture the moment. Appoint someone who would be responsible for capturing the footage, somebody preferably who knows how to use a camera. If you can't find a person like that, feel free to give us a call at 815-441-2219. You know what? Shaky movements look bad on camera, period. So a lot of people think that, yeah, I'll just use my cell phone, but sometimes your cell phone takes great videos short term. But if you're trying to do a prolonged video shoot, maybe you want to shoot eight minutes of consecutive video, you're not going to be able to hold your hands steady. Use different angles and perspectives. Maybe have multiple cameras. Do different screenshots. Get things at different angles to make the video both engaging and entertaining. Take as many shots as possible and make sure you protect the footage with your life. If you lose it or delete it by accident, it's gone. You don't want to have to do this all over again. Trust me. I've done this in the past where I've shot an amazing video and I went to go do the editing. I actually accidentally deleted some of the shots and I just stopped right there. I was so sick to my stomach, I didn't even want to continue. So there's two types of shots. You'll hear this in the movie industry, but this is kind of just basic video making 101. You have roll A or an A roll, which is just a static shot. It's just a single shot of, a, of one moving target. And then you have B roll, where the camera is actually moving. B roll is usually something that you see to kind of break up scenes uh, from going from one scene to another. Or if you're just listening to my voice, I could break this up with some B roll, actually me sitting here making this video. Heck, maybe I'll even do that. Organize your footage. Footage types. If you're using a camera that has a tape, make sure you write that name of, the, of what scene it is on that tape. If you're using an SD card or an SDHC card, make sure you do the same thing. Annotate somehow 
what's on that card. Um, if you're using your hard disk or camera, upload those files to your computer and then rewrite them. You'll see here at the bottom, what would you prefer? If you're going to name your file dumps from your camera onto your desktop and it looks like this, DSCF0934, blah, 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 rename it. Right, type in there like tape one, roll A, close up shot of your teddy bear, or something, just so you know you have your things organized and ready to use when it comes to the editing process. So now we're at the hard part, video editing. Do you have the software you need? This can be insanely time consuming, but with great satisfaction on the final results if you take your time. Now organize your resources well. That kind of kicks back to what we're talking about, renaming your video files and choose the music wisely. Choice of music is super critical. If you have any questions at all, you're watching this and you're thinking, man, I really want an awesome video to promote my latest product launch or my event or just build buzz around my business, you can again call us at 815-441-2219. Never watch this video again because we'll do it all for you. It's that easy. Do you have the software? There's a few I want to go over here really quick. Windows Movie Maker, iMovie, Adobe Premiere Pro, CS4, or CS6 is out now, I'm sorry, Final Cut Pro. So Windows Movie Makers, here's the pros. It's cheap, it's usually loaded up on any of your Windows system, and it's easy to use. Here's the cons, limited features, not very flexible with editing, different video layers and channels. You don't have a lot of editing capability if you know what you're doing. But for the beginner, use it, it's super simple. iMovie, pros, very easy to use. It's again, basic, cons, little too simplistic for your top-notch video editors for me it works just fine it does limit your editing capabilities and here's the kicker it is only available for Mac so if you're a PC user sorry no iMovie for you Final Cut Pro another one of my favorites allows a great amount of flexibility the con is it's steep it's hard to learn there's a huge curveball once you start learning it but it will be great investment and it'll pay off in dividends if you actually figure out what you're doing and it is available only on Mac. Sorry about that. Only on Mac. Adobe Premiere Pro, CS4 Pros. Available on Mac and PC. It's very good, flexible, and works very, very well um, with the rest of the Adobe Suite Collection. Um, they produce excellent, excellent video effects. Then there's also Adobe After Effects and Encore, which come with that series. But again, the con, very, very steep learning curve hard to use for the average Joe. If you're just getting into video, because all you want to do is make something really quick to launch up on YouTube, don't even get involved with this stuff because I'm telling you, it's, it's difficult and it takes forever to learn. Choose your music wisely. This is critical. It sets the mood for the entire video. I recently read an article about how much impact uh, music has on somebody's decision to actually buy something. And the same applies to your video. If you use the wrong music, you will put the viewer in the wrong mindset. You don't want to make a very sweet, seductive video to promote your, um, I don't know, your, your facial experience at your salon or your spa day and have like a little Megadeth or a little hardcore rock going on in the background. It just doesn't fit. So choose your music wisely. So now where do you put it? You got this video. You went through. You shot the video. You got it edited. It's exactly how you want it. The music's just right. Where do you put it? Well, here's a few for starters. YouTube. Simple to upload. All you need is a Google account. Social media, I'm talking Facebook, Twitter. Again, links. Facebook, I like to upload my videos directly to Facebook. Uh, that's a class for a different day, but that's what I like to do. Upload it to your website. Send it out via an email. Uh, send it via a text message. And you can either send people a link to the video's location or some HTML embed code, which actually will put the video player directly on your screen. That's what I like to do, because I like people to be able to see my video look at the actual screenshot of the video and press play without having to follow too many links. And that's how it's done, folks. It's not super difficult. If you have any questions, I want to ask you some questions really quick. How did you feel when you were watching this? Did you feel overwhelmed? Did you feel like you cannot make a video on your own? Do you think it would be easy to create and edit the video uh, when you actually saw this footage in this video that I just created? Probably not. It's probably one of those things where where it's still a little bit over your head and it's going to be easier for you just to pay somebody to do it. Our costs are extremely, extremely affordable and we want to make sure that you get the best bang for your buck, the absolute best video. Video is insanely effective for building buzz around your business or event, but it has to be done right, folks, or 
wrong. I say this because who knows anymore these days? Viral videos of cats are being watched by the millions on YouTube. But either way you slice it, consider creating videos to promote your stuff. I'm telling you, it works. If you need some help, please call us over here at Bent Business Marketing. Again, it's 815-441-2219 or email directly. Andy, and that's Andy at, I'm sorry, I put two there. Andy at BentBusinessMarketing.com. Andy at BentBusinessMarketing.com. Let us help you promote your business, get more attendance at your next event, and just market the crap out of your stuff. Until then, guys, this is Andy, the marketing guy. I created a film and narrated it, and I want you guys to go ahead and try to use video to promote your business. It's super simple. If not, contact us. We'll do it for you. Just don't, I guess, don't stiff arm using technology because you don't understand it. It's the wave of the future. We're almost into 2014, folks. Don't date yourself. Start marketing like it matters. See you.